Hey everybody, welcome to video one in the series on finger pain and the rowing machine. So if you are getting some finger discomfort during rowing, after rowing, or you already have some and you think rowing is contributing, we're gonna go over in this video things on the rowing machine to pay attention to while you're rowing that will hopefully help alleviate or decrease the discomfort that you are getting. Now, it is important to note that in today's world, finger pain can come for a ton of reasons. It can come from carrying groceries too much. It can come from holding our computer in a funny way. Um, it can come from our phones, which are getting larger and bigger, and we're often bringing our thumbs across the screen to try and reach something. Uh, so paying attention to what you're doing with your hands and your wrists in all other parts of your day, sitting on a computer, um, basically everything that you're doing, really start to pay attention to are those activities also increasing the discomfort? Because that plays a huge role. Everything that we are doing with our hands, which we're using them most of the day in one way or another, um, even me talking, I'm moving and using my hands. Uh, so really just pay attention to the things you're doing in your daily life because it does play a bigger role than we realize. It does add up and phones and technology are really increasing the prevalence of that. Um, also, if you happen to hold babies or um, really are doing anything different, please pay attention to that. All right, so let's dive into the rowing machine. So when it comes to finger pain and rowing, one of the biggest things is actually paying attention to our handle. How are we holding this? And everyone's got a little bit of a handle, different handle depending on what machine you're on. Uh, so that will also play a role. But where on this are you holding it and how are you holding it? So for instance, ideally we want to have our hands directly in front of our shoulder. And if I take this handle and I hold it very much towards the center, it's very difficult for me to not be in this crunched position where my hands are more in from my shoulder. If I come more out to the outside, I have more room where my hands are slightly to the outside of my shoulder and they're giving me my, my shoulders and my elbows and my wrists a little bit more of a comfortable position to be able to get into. So ideally you'd come all the way out to the edge and you have your pinky over the edge. Then what we want to pay attention to is that we're not super gripping this. If we are, your fingers are going to hurt. <laughs> so what I'd recommend is having a nice loose grip and you can see when I do this, when I row, I actually have a very, very gentle grip where it's just like the edges of my fingers. I can even move my fingers while I'm rowing and it barely impacts my rowing. Granted, I'm going very light right now because I want to make sure you can hear me. But even as I increase, I get a little bit where I'm, yeah, I have some tension on it and then I can move my fingers again. Uh, so really just keeping that nice loose grip while you're rowing will really help. Uh, so paying attention to where on the machine we are, uh, two, uh, how, how we are gripping and where we're gripping, and three, if you're tending to go a little bit more into thumb, I do have a whole video on thumb pain and rowing, uh, but you can play with thumbs on top, thumbs on bottom. You can even mess around with doing it both ways and mixing it up during your row. To be honest, when I'm rowing for a long row, I just mix it up. Whatever's feeling comfortable at the moment is what I do. Um, so those are the primary things to pay attention to when it comes to finger pain. Um, if you tend to have something that's even going up into the forearm, or even if it's not, it is important to note that most of the finger muscles are actually in our forearms. So sometimes what we're doing at the wrist um, or at the elbow can also impact what we're feeling in our hands. So it depends a little bit on where you're feeling things in the hands, um, but please feel free if you've got questions uh, specifically, please feel free to put them down below and I'll try and make a video that is more designated to that specific area. Um, and this is a little bit more of a general one just for fingers and what to pay attention to. So I hope that this was helpful. Please hit that thumbs up. Let me know that you like this stuff um, and I'll keep making videos for you. Let me know your questions. I'll make a video uh, answering them like this one. Um, and yeah, happy rowing everybody.